Ja vas sve srdačno pozdravljam i jako sam radostan što mogu biti sa vama ovog svetog subotnog dana. I greet you all and I'm so uh, excited, happy that I can be here with you this Sabbath, Sabbath day. Lepo je vidjeti meni poznata lica, također drago mi je da mogu da upoznam one koje ranije nisam video. It's nice to see so many familiar faces, but it's also very exciting to meet new people that I haven't met in the past. Ja vam sa uh, radošću prenosim uh, srdačne pozdrave od uh, iz moje crkve u Srbiji u Novom Sadu, a također i od moje porodice. Uh, with great happiness I bring you warm regards from my home church in Novi Sad, but also from my family. Svrh svega što se čuva, čuvaj srce svoje. Our opening text says, apologize, I don't have it here. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it is the issues of life. Ljudi paze i neguju razne predmete, suvenire, knjige, svoje automobile, garderobu i tome slično. Uh, people take care of uh, certain things in their lives, certain souvenirs, certain articles of clothing, uh, cars, all sorts of physical things. Ali mnogo više od svega toga što se čuva, mi treba da čuvamo srce svoje. But much more important is watching our hearts. Kada kažemo reč srce ili kada tu mi reč čujemo, javljaju se različite aso asocijacije u našem umu. So the word heart implies various associations in our mind. Da vidimo šta se to dešava, šta se to dešava u našoj duši. Kod mladih osoba kakva se slika i asocijacija javlja? In, in youth, in those who are in a relationship, on fiance, what kind of an image comes to mind when you speak about the heart. Kada majka izgovori reč srce, when a mother says the word heart, what comes to her mind? Ili otac, također. Or a father, <laughs> any new parent. Šta se dešava? U duši se javlja slika milog deteta. Uh, well, the image you get is of a dear and beloved child. Mm -hmm. Kada doktor kaže srce ili kada čuje reč srce? When a doctor on the other hand hears the word heart or thinks of a heart, he thinks of a physical organ. Nema romantike. There's nothing romantic about it. Misli se na onaj organ u grudnom košu. It's the physical organ within the chest cavity. A kada Biblija spomene reč srce, na čega ona misli? Na čega se tu misli? What does the Bible say uh, mean when the word heart is said or written. Šta mislite? Hm? Okay, kada Biblija, okay. kada Biblija koristi reč srce. Na čega ona misli? So again, asking the question when the Bible says heart, what what is meant by that? Okay, so čula sam celu, celu... Da. Dobro, šta bi vi napisali kao odgovor na testu? Evo imate test, imate papir, napišite. <laughs> so you're given a test, you have to write down the answer, what would you say? Da li je to inteligencija, razum, uh, da li je to, ne znam, neka specifična struktura? Ajde da vidimo. U kojoj strukturi... Našeg organizma i mozga se nalazi to srce o kome Biblija govori. So in which structure of the brain is the heart? Frontal lobe. Frontal lobe. Može biti. Maybe. Maybe Šta kaže lobe. ova strana? Šta kaže druga strana? <laughs> Ajde da ovaj, u slovenskim jezicima reč srce Potiče od reči središte. Ne mi još pobrati. In the Slavic languages, A. the heart refers to the center. U središtu našeg mozga nalazi se srce o kome Biblija govori. So here we have a diagram of the brain and we can see in the center of the brain is what is known as the limbic system and that is the heart 
that the Bible is talking about. I upravo iz tog središta našeg mozga. And from the center of our heart. Iz tog limbičkog sistema. From the limbic system. Ili srca o kome Biblija govori. The heart of the Bible. Iz tog dela upravo izviru naše emocije. From the heart of the Bible, the center, uh, the emotions flow out of it. Ja bi sad puno biblijskih stihova mogao vama citirati. Now I could quote several Bible verses to you now. I citate duha proroštva. And several quotes from the spirit of prophecy. Ali bojim se da će biti previše to dugačka tema. <laughs> But then we would be here for a very long time. Ajde da mi uh, idemo, da mi vidimo šta znači reč emocija. So let's start with defining the word emotion. So what we have here is we have a Latin root. We have e and then motio, which denotes motion, motor, mover, moving forward in a forward direction. And then the word motive has the same root. It's uh, moving forward. A ako hoćemo da definišemo emocije, da uzemo malo stručnu literaturu i evo jedan citat iz stručne literature koji nam govori šta su emocije. But if we want to look at uh, some sort of medical or psychological literature, what we can see as uh, a definition for emotions is uh, written here, it says feelings represent the basis of communication. That silent dialogue about feelings is the foundation on which are built all other encounters. It is a hidden objective of each interaction of every human relationship. Pazite, veoma važna misa ovdje je isaknuta. This is a very important thought here. Razlog, motiv svake komunikacije i svakog odnosa jesu emocije. The reason, the motivation of every single communication, every single human interaction is emotions. I to je ono što treba da se uključi u naš odnos jedni sa drugima, ali i u naš odnos sa Bogom. And emotions are extremely important in our interactions one with another and with God. Kada uh, Bog kaže, Sine moj, daj mi srce svoje. When God says, my son, give me your heart. On ne misli, ne, ne misli na našu inteligenciju. He doesn't mean our intelligence or our intellect. On misli pre svega na naše emocije. He, his first thought is on our emotions. I sad ima jedan problem, ja bih hteo da, da malo ovdje zastanemo. So I'd like I da vidimo jedan problem, bitan, naš problem. And discuss a, a problem that we humans have. Uh, mi, pres, ili mi sebe smatramo kao neku avangardu u, u promociji zdravlja i zdravstvene reforme. We uh, Adventists and especially reformers, we think of ourselves as being on the cutting edge of promoting Uh, healthy lifestyles, healthy living, um, health reform. I posebno nam je bitna i važna ishrana. And what's very important to us is health reform and uh, fi- uh, food, eating. I u tom nekom našem, našoj brizi u ishrani malo hoćemo da odemo u ekstrem. And in our, Ili postoji opasnost da odemo u ekstrem. In our uh, desire to control diet and to think about diet we have uh, there there's a danger of going into extremism. I što se dešava? And then what happens? Odemo kod doktora. We go see a doctor. I kažemo eto dobijemo dijagnozu neku da imamo neku bolest i kažemo pa kako to kad ja pazim nisam pušač, ne pijem alkohol, nisam nikad jeo meso a dobijem bolest. So we, we as Adventists, we go to a doctor and then we get a unfavorable diagnosis for some sort of disease. And the first thing we think of is, well, I'm a vegetarian. I don't smoke. I don't drink alcohol. I don't eat meat. How is this possible? Why did this happen to me? Zaboravimo da osim tela mi imamo i emocije. We forget that outside of our physical body we also have emotions. A emocije mogu biti i te kako toksične. And emotions can be extremely toxic. 
mogu biti toksične kao i duvan, alkohol ili neke ma, ma, animalne masnoće. Uh, negative emotions can be as toxic as alcohol, as smoking, as, and as animal fats. So I'm going to read here, studies done in the field of psychology and psychosomatic diseases have demonstrated that negative emotions are as toxic for our organism as smoking or elevated levels of fats, lipids in blood in cases of heart disease. So negative emotions can cause heart disease in humans. And it was shown that sadness and depression are related to suppressed immunity and malignant diseases, whereas anger is connected to heart attacks. Da opet pročitam. Ne. <laughs> Pazite. Hronična tuga, depresija, usmerenost naših misli na nešto što je negativno, može da obori imunitet i da dovede do malignih bolesti. So chronic sadness, chronic depression, negative ways of thought, uh, it can lead to a suppressed immunity and to uh, all sorts of physical diseases. I Biblija kada kaže čuvaj srce svoje So when the Bible says keep thy heart with all diligence on ona misli e obrati pažnju na svoj emotivni život. What it's saying is take a close look and guard your emotional life. I mi imamo običaj da idemo kod kardiologa, tako? So, humans have a tendency to go see a cardiologist if there's heart problems. I idemo, vadimo krv, radimo EKG. We go get blood work done, we'll do an ECG. Ultrasound uh, uh, srca. We'll do ultrasounds of the heart. I volimo, znači, da pregledamo, volimo da naše srce stavimo i da ga pregledamo dobro. We like to physically look at our heart. Ali isto tako Biblija ili Bog nas poziva da skeniramo i naše srce. In the same way the Bible is telling us to scan our heart, our biblical heart, our emotions. Zašto? Why? Ajde da čujemo zbog čega, zbog čega je to tako. In Jeremiah it says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? To je to. Treba da uzmemo i da posmatramo ne samo superficijalno sebe. So we need to uh, look and examine not just our superficial physical selves. A mi to obično radimo. Which we always do. Gledamo kako neko ima rukave, kakve, nam je frizu, kakve su frizure. We look at someone's sleeves, we look at someone's hairstyle. Uh, Moja žena ima obično da kaže, pa, Muškarac, po nekim merilima, muškarac lako može postati ovaj, član crkve. My, my wife likes to say that it's very easy for a man to become a member of the church. He just has to put on the right clothes. <laughs> Staviš mu sako i kravatu i on može biti oma član. You put a tie and a suit jacket on him and he's a member. Za žene već mnogo teže. But for ladies it's already much harder. Tu su bitne štikle koje su veličine, ne znam ni ja šta. Yeah, there you have to look at the heel height. Mi zaboravimo suštinu pobožnosti. We forget the, the essence of godliness. Svrh svega što se čuva. Ne. Srce je prevarno i opako više svega. So the heart is deceitful above all things. Budite oprezni. Ko će ga poznati? And srce je prevarno i tako nisih, izvini duš. Yeah, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? To možemo samo uz pomoć molitve i razgovora naše duše sa Bogom. We can only know it through the help of prayer and our communion with God. Ja treba da govorim o problemima, o zdravstvenim problemima srca. Ali srca sa biblijske perspektive. So my, my topic and theme for today is to talk about heart diseases, but from a biblical stand, uh, viewpoint. I ja ću pobrojati neke bolesti, neke patnje tog spiritualnog srca. 
So I'm going to list. Ne bolesti, kaži patnje. I'm going to list several um, ailments. That's the right word. Ailments of this spiritual heart. I na uh, na jedno, u prvom delu samo ću pobrojati, a u drugom delu predavanja ću se zadržati na jednom po meni najfrekventnijem uh, uh, problemu našeg spiritualnog srca. So in this first part I'm just going to uh, list a number of these elements but in the second part of the sermon I'm going to focus on a very important topic. So element number 1. Šta kaže? Ljutnja. Anger. Bez. Čitaj. Anger is a steady road to an early grave. Ovo su naučna istraživanja. Rezultati naučnog istraživanja. Yeah. These are the results of uh, psychological research. Ljutnja je posebno pogubna ili uh, uh, ljutnja izaziva pre svega kardiovaskularne bolesti. Anger uh, can lead to heart disease, physical heart disease. Uh, pritisak raste, frekvenca se ubrzava. Blood pressure rises, you can get heart palpitations. I u prva dva sata može da napravi infarkt ili možda ni šlog. In the first two hours of extreme anger, you can have a heart attack or a stroke. Ali to nije moj problem. But that's not really what I want to talk about. Hmm? Da li je baš tako? Or is that, is that true? We all get angry often daily. Ide nam to nekako. Naše... <laughs> yeah, it, it's something that happens to all of us, starting with very small children. Uh... Ovo je posebna tema. But this is only one topic. Ja bih samo jedno pitanje postavio. The only question I would like to ask about this topic is Koliko dana ili meseci imamo pravo da se ljutimo? So how many days or months do we have the right to be angry? Apostol Pavle kaže Ne bih, ne bih, ne bih. A, da, da, oni ne vide to. <laughs> Izvina, stalno nisam ovaj trojit. Apostol Pavle kaže The Apostle Paul in Ephesians writes, do not let on the kaže, sun go down on your anger. Znam da ćete se ljutiti. He says, I know you're going to be angry. Ali, ali, koliko meseci imam prava da se ljutim na, na tebe ja? Yeah, but how many months do I have the right to be angry at somebody? Hmm? Koliko? Jedan, dva, tri, četiri, koliko? One, two, three, four. How many months? Ajmo da vidimo. Što kaže? So in Ephesians it says do not let the sun set on your anger. To je maksimum. That's the maximum. A Biblija kaže kako ta ljutnja bez deluje na naše zdravlje. And the Bible says it tells us exactly how this anger, wrath Uh, affects us physically. Čitaj, molim te. Uh, in Job 5.2 it says for wrath killeth the foolish man and envy slayeth the silly one. Wrath killeth the foolish man. Da. Ako sam ja ljut, je tako? If I'm angry. Je to, je to na čisto ljutnja. Ako sam ja ljut, ona će imati problema. Vikat ću na nju, galamit ću, reći ću joj, ne znam ja, neke stvari koje nisu u redu, ali ću je... Imat će ona problem od moje ljutnje. So if I am angry, um, I, my uncle here will have problems with that. I will scream at him, I will yell at him, I will emotionally hurt him in the process of my anger. Ali najviše problema i najveće posljedice trpi osoba koja se ljuti. But the biggest problems and the biggest after effects are felt by the person that is angry. U srpskom jeziku postoji reč srdnja. Kad naš ono nisam besa, ljut sam, ali onako dugo traje. Naš srdnja je manjeg intenziteta, ali dugo traje. Ne znam kako na engleskom se kaže. Mm, that's a good question. Okay. Uh, well, in, I think bitterness might be the right word. So in, in the Serbo-Croatian language, there exists a specific word, and it means like a long-lasting but low-level anger. Something like bitterness, something like anger, but it's very long-lasting, and it's not explosively. Yeah. And it's not explosive in Ali dugo traje. But it's very long-lasting. Zašto? Why? Ljudi ne znaju 
kako da oproste. Because people do not know how to forgive. I ja ne bih hteo sada pričam o tome. But again, I don't want to talk about this. Ali to je univerzalni ljudski problem. But it's a universal human problem. I o tom problemu treba da razmišljamo. And about this issue we need to be self-reflective. A takođe treba da pomognemo jednim drugima takođe u tom problemu. But we also need to help each other with this problem. To se uči u porodici. This is taught in the home and in the family. Nas je bilo četvoro dese. In my family growing up there was four children. I nismo imali neki baš veliki prostor gde smo živeli. We didn't have a large house or a large living space. I kad smo bili jako mali. When we were little. Mi smo, nas četvoro spavalo u jednoj sobi. The four of us slept in one room. I to je bilo najuzbudljivije i najzanimljivije spavanje. And that was. I najuzbudljivije večeri. That was the most fun way to sleep. Tu je bilo uvek priča, zadirkivanja, smejanja i tako. There was always jokes, teasing, laughter. Ali tu dođi do konflikta. But also conflict arises with four children. I mame sve znaju šta se dešava u kući. And mothers always know what's happening in the home. I kad dođe vreme da se uveče pomolimo. And when it's time to pray in the evening. Mama kaže, dobro, treba se molimo. My mother used to say, okay, it's time for prayer. Ali pre nego što to uradimo. But before we do that. Vi treba, ja znam da tu ima nekih problema, vi se izmirite pa ću se ja onda vratiti i onda idemo na večenju molitvu. But before we have evening worship, the four of you need to sort out your problems, need to apologize to each other, and then I'll come back and we can have evening worship. I mi se tu prvo gledamo ko će prvi ovo ono, ali na kraju mi se tu izmirimo. And then the four of us would look at each other, see who was going to go first, but in the end we would make peace and we could have worship. I onda uzmemo pesmaricu. We take the hymnal. I krenemo na večenje u bogosluženje. And we start worship together. Pevamo onako od srca. We sing from the hearts. Pomolimo se. We pray. I ni ne znamo šta je bilo pre pet minuta, ko je s kime se posvađa, to se sve zaboravlja. And we forget what happened five minutes ago, who was fighting with who. Ja sam zahvalan i Bogu. I'm thankful to God. Biblijskim porukama. To Bible passages. I mojim roditeljama, pred svega majici, što su nas učili kako da se prevaziđe ti problemi. And to my parents, especially my mother, who taught us how to get past these problems. Ljutnja je problem spiritualnog srca. So anger or wrath is a problem of the spiritual heart. Nije jedini problem. But it's not the only problem. Ajde da vidimo šta još ima. Topic number two, envy. Šta kaže Biblija za za zavist, za envy? So what does the Bible say about envy? O zdravstvenim posljedicama zavisti. Specifically, what does it say about the health effects of envy? In Proverbs 14, it says, but envy is rottenness of the bones. Idemo dalje. Idemo dalje. Sljedeći problem. Topic number three, jealousy. Problem broj četiri. Number four, fear. Strah je najprimarnije ljudsko osjećanje. So feeling is the most present or common feeling of the human soul. Dete kad se rodi. When a child is born. Počinje da plače. It starts to cry. Dete, strah je, možemo reći ta, to prvo, Nešto prvo što čovjek susreće prilikom rađanja. The first emotion that a child experiences is fear. A kad dođe trenutak umiranja. And when the time of death comes. I tada strah se javlja. Then fear arises again. Ja sam imao prilike kao doktor. Radio sam i u intenzivnoj nezi i to i video sam i kao kažem kako ljudi iz života prelaze u smrt. So as a doctor, I have had the experience of watching people pass from life into death. I zaista strah je nešto što je imanentno ljudskoj duši. And fear is something that is present in the human heart. Hajde vidimo šta su to hronične brige, odnosno hronična anksioznost. So next, chronic worries or chronic anxieties. Može. 
So chronic anxiety or worry is the essence of all types of anxieties. Worry in a way represents rehearsal of an unpleasant event and also rehearsal of the ways for overcoming that event. Anxious people expect an inevitable tragedy, which is a lack of faith. Worries can go away if we stop thinking of them. Chronic worries go in circles and positive solutions do not emerge. Mislim da nigde tako Bog ne može da pomogne ili strah je trenutak kada posebno Božja pomoć nam treba i ona može veliku stvar da učini i on može veliku stvar da učini za nas tada. Fear or anxiety is the moment when we're experiencing that that's the moment that God can help the most. David je bio junačina. Uh, David was a hero. On, pazite, jadnje uhvati lav i hoće da pojede i šta radi David? So in his youth a lion would grab a lamb and what would David do? Ide na lava i i i ovaj i vadi la, vadi šeljusti ovaj uh, jagnje. He would run to the lion and out of his jaws he would be pulling the little lamb. Ja ne znam šta bi vi radili. I don't know what you would do in that scenario. Ali ja nekako prva stvar mislim da bi ja bežao ili skloni, ne znam kako da... But I know that if, if I was presented with that scenario, the first thing I would do is run. I šta? David je bio junak. But he was a hero. Ali šta se dešavalo? But what happened? On je čovjek koji imao strah. He was a man who had fear. Kad me strah, ja se u tebe uzdam. He said, uh, when I'm fearful, I trust in you. Kad me strah, ja se tebi molim. When I'm fearful, I pray to you. I verujem da ćeš me ti izbaviti. And I believe that you will deliver me. Hristos kaže, Christ says, nemojte se brinuti i nemojte imati strah. Do not have worries or fear. Pogotovo nemojte imati strah od budućnosti. Especially do not fear for the future. Jer, šta kaže? Svakom danu je dosta zla njegova. Nemojte se brinuti i plašiti sutrašnjice. So don't uh, be fearful of the future. Every day has its own problems. Kaže, ja se brinem za vas. I am thinking of you. I sad smo došli do, možemo reći, do ovog drugog dela predavanja. So now we've come to the second part of our sermon today. I tu bi govorio o, ja tu planiram da govorim o najučestalijem i najozbiljnijem problemu ljudske duše, odnosno spiritualnog srca. So here I would like to talk about the most important and most urgent uh, problem of the human or spiritual heart. I ja bi tu zastao i malo odmorio naš mozak sa jednom predivnom muzičkom tačkom. But first I would like to pause here and take a little bit of a break so that we can all rest our minds while we listen to a musical item.
depresija, odnosno anksiozno-depresivni sindrom je najčešća patnja ljudske duše danas. So depressions or anxious depressive disorders are the most common uh, ailments of the human heart. I zato ćemo u ovom drugom delu predavanja da govorimo o ovom problemu ljudskog srca. And this is why we will focus on specifically depression. Does everyone have a bit of depression? Depression can affect people of any age including children. It is one of the most common mental illnesses. It affects one in six of us. The number of people who have depression may be higher than this because not everyone with depression goes to visit their general practitioner or their doctor. Žene češće pate od depresije nego muškarci. Women suffer from depression twice as, money, um, twice as often as men. Uh, zato što njihov mozak sporije proizvodi serotonin. This is because their brain produces serotonin much more slowly than men. Uh, a serotonin ima značajno mesto u prevenciji terapiji i depresivnog stanja i anksioznog stanja. Uh, but serotonin has a very important uh, critical role to play in preventing both depression and anxiety. I kada govorimo o metodama terapije depresije, so when we talk about the methods of treatment of depressive conditions, uh, ja bih teo da samo kažem neke osnovne informacije. I just want to list some basic information. Da su te metode antidepresivni medikamenti, uh, psihoterapija treat, i... Dobro. Uh, we can treat depressive conditions with antidepressants, so medication, with psychotherapy. I ono što je veoma važno, a u čemu se vrlo malo govori i zna, but also that which is very important but is not often discussed jeste unused but effective therapeutic pathways i o tome bi ja govorio and this is what i'd like to focus on today ovde nije mesto da mi ovde govorimo o medikamentima o psihoterapiji puno i tako i don't really want to focus too much about specific medications or therapies ali u ovim drugim metodama koje zavise koje mi moramo i trebamo da uradimo E, o tome ću govoriti. But I'd like to really talk about these other therapeutic pathways, things that we can do for ourselves. Ajde da vidimo koji su mehanizmi uh, delovanja antidepresivnih lekova. So, what are the mechanisms of delivery or the effects of antidepressive medications? Mi kad pijemo medikament, when we physically take a pill, antidepresivni medikament an antidepressant taj medikament želi da podigne ili treba da podigne koncentraciju serotonina u našem mozgu so this medication its purpose is to raise the serotonin levels in our brain ako nam koncentracija u mozgu ako nam koncentracija serotonina u mozgu pada but if the serotonin levels fall uh, mi postajemo prvo neraspoloženi we become uh, we get into a bad mood first pa onda postanemo melanholični. And then we suffer from melancholy. Na kraju postanemo depresivni. And then in the end this leads to depression. I onda uzmemo medikamente. So then we take our antidepressant pills. I oni treba da podižu koncentraciju serotonina. And again it's supposed to raise the serotonin levels in the brain. Iako koncentracija serotonina raste, mi se vraćamo i izlazimo iz depresije. And as the serotonin levels in our brain rises, we are slowly uh, coming out of depression. I to je, kao kažem, mehanizam i to je cilj zbog kojih se daju ove medikamenti. To medikamenti žele postići. So that's the purpose or the goal of these antidepressant medications. To je tako teorijski sve lepo rečeno. Theoretically, this all sounds really nice. Ali u praksi ne ide baš uvijek tako. But practically, it doesn't always work like this. Mi, ja bi vam sad najprej podelio neke osnovne informacije o serotoninu. So first I would like to give you some very basic information about serotonin. I da potom da naučite i da vidite kako vi možete bez medikamenata podići koncentraciju serotonina. And then from this basic information I would like you to understand how you can raise your serotonin levels without antidepressant medication. I ajde da vidimo da vidimo informaciju o serotoninu. So let's take a look at some information about serotonin. It is fascinating how one molecule can have so many and varied functions and manipulation of serotonin activity has many significant therapeutic effects. Njegova dejstva su zaista fascinantna. 
the uh, functions of serotonin are extremely fascinating. Ja imam jednu knjigu koja govori samo o serotoninu. I have a book that talks only about serotonin. I možemo reći nema telesne bolesti koja nije u vezi sa serotoninom. And serotonin affects every physical disease and ailment. So some facts about serotonin which is uh, 5-hydroxytryptamine. Uh, 5-HTP or 5-hydroxytryptamine. Uh, that is the scientific name for it. So serotonin plays an important role in the regulation of numerous psychophysiological or emotional and mental functions. Serotonin affects whether a person will be, number one, happy or sad, two, realistic or unrealistic, three, agitated, impulsive or calm, and four, emotionally stable or unstable. All from this one molecule. Positive. <laughs> This is a very broad spectrum. Ali tu nije kraj. But this isn't the end. Serotonin utiče i na naš socijalni život i na našu komunikaciju sa drugim ljudima. But serotonin affects also our social life and the way we behave towards each other and communicate. Čitajmo. So serotonin deficiency plays an important role in the development of certain disorders, so subclinical syndromes. Čitaj. And this can be impulsivity, aggressiveness, shyness, Affective, li li affective liability, irritability, <clears throat> social skills that are poorly developed, a deficiency of empathy and social intelligence. There are uh, people with uh, serotonin deficiency are often less able to establish deeper friendships and emotional relationships. <clears throat> They have cognitive dysfunctions, sexual disorders, cravings for carbohydrates, alcohol, uh, so alcoholism and drug addiction a propensity for risky behavior and low stress tolerance. Puno toga serotonin radi. So serotonin affects all of this. Ja se sećam uh, da u nekom u, mom, u jednom mom periodu života bilo mi je teško. Problemi su se nakupili, bolesti u porodici. There was a time of, in my life where I was having a very difficult time. Problems were piling up. Uh, family members were getting very sick. I, a istovremeno sam trebao da radim kao doktor sa bolestim ljudima. But on top of all of these personal problems, I had a job to do. I was a doctor. I was working with patients. Ja treba drugima da pomažem, a treba i meni, pomo treba i meni pomoć. I needed to help people who came to my office but I also needed help. Dobro, sam bio. And I was unwell, I felt helpless. Otišao sam izmjerio sam serotonin. So I went and I had my serotonin levels checked. I recimo serotonin je bio 7. And the serotonin level that came back from the blood work was 7. I 7. A normalna vrijednost je recimo od 70 do 300. So my levels were 7 where a, whereas a normal range is between 70 and 300. I onda sam uzeo i počeo da radim na podizanju serotonina. And then the first thing I did was I started working on raising the serotonin levels. Hvala Bogu mi to možemo uraditi. Uh, thank the Lord we are able to do this. Ajde da vidimo. Čitajte to. How to increase. So let's see how we can increase the concentration of serotonin. Kad dođe novembar mesec, in November, ja počnem da pijem jedan lek. I start uh, taking a specific medication. Ni ne čekam da budem, o, da budem uh, potišten, niti da imam neki uh, psihički problem, da budem nervozan, ne. Dođe novembar mesec, ja počinjem da pijem jedan lek. So I don't wait for uh, any sort of... Um, Symptoms to show up. I don't. Problem with stress. I, I don't wait to start being stressed out, to start feeling ne. anxious, to start feeling depressed. November comes. I start taking this medication. Ja volim da trčim ispred bolesti, odnosno da prevenir ispred problema. Yeah, I, I prefer to prevent problems. A ne da se desi problem pa do nja trčim za njim. Than to allow a problem to develop and then I have to chase them with a cure. I kad dođe, kažem, November mesec. So November comes. Ja uzmem jednu kapsulu, popijem. I take a capsule. Ili uzmem, napravim čaj. Or I make a tea. Ili napravim ulje od jedne biljke. Or I make an oil from one herb. O kojoj biljki se radi? What is the herb? 
sen, kantarion, hiperikum herba, gospina trava, odnosno sen, John's wort. So the herb is St. John's wort or Hypericum herba. It has an antidepressant effect because it increases serotonin levels. It reduces fears and tension and anxiety. It regulates sleep disorders, reduces psychosomatic complaints. Ja nisam baš osoba koja ima sklonost ka depresiji. I'm not somebody who is prone to depression. Ali ipak uzimam. But I still take it. Od novembra meseca tamo negde do kraja marta uh, koristim ovaj suplement. So from November until the end of March I take this supplement St. John's wort. Došao sam u Kanadu. I came to Canada. I sam ga, poneo sam ga sa sobom. And I brought it with me. Pogotovo što je dobar kod tih menjanja vremenskih zona. And it's especially good when you're changing time zones. Idemo sljedeći preparat koji se lako može nabaviti i ovdje u vašoj zemlji. So the second tool or medication you can use is it's SAMI. So it is a natural medicine that stimulates the synthesis of serotonin. Da. To je u stvari S adenosyl metionin. So it's S adenosyl metionin koji povećava proizvodnju i serotonina, a potom i melatonina. So it raises serotonin and melatonin levels. Još jedan prirodan lek. Another one. Nabavlja se takođe i u vašoj zemlji. You can also purchase that here. Naziva se 5-hydroxytriptamin. So it's 5-HTP. Da. Ima ga u kombinaciji ili izolovano od uh, samija. So you can get it either uh, as a standalone uh, supplement or with sami. Dobro, idemo dalje. Uh, we can continue. Uh, 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 mi imamo... Uh, U našim knjigama savjet duha proroštva da ili pak uh, izjavu da postoji tesna veza između našeg tela, duše i duha. So in the spirit of prophecy we know that there exists a tight bond between the physical body, the mind and the soul. Takođe da hrana utiče ne samo na naše telo i na telesno zdravlje, već da ima izuzetno značaj i za naše mentalno psihičko zdravlje. So we also know that food doesn't only affect our physical body but also our mental health. A evo što kažu novija naučna istraživanja. So uh, research says that the role of nutrition in psychiatry is more important than previously thought, especially if we consider that it represents a risk factor that we can easily influence. Oko 40 do 45% depresivnosti je u najintimnijoj, najčvršćoj vezi sa lošom ishranom. So about 40 to 45% of all depressive disorders are in very, uh, are very closely linked to poor nutrition. Yeah. Hvala Bogu, serotonina ima u namenicama u namenicama biljnog porekla. But thank God that serotonin exists in in um in, in plant, plants. Plant. Crni luk, beli luk, biber, ljute paprene namenice. <laughs> so onions, black pepper, uh, garlic, coriander. coriander. <laughs> Garlic. Spicy things. Hvala Bogu, tu nije serotonin. <laughs> but thank God serotonin doesn't exist in these things. <laughs> to je hrana koju ja baš ne simpatišem. That's not really food that I enjoy eating. Ali volim namenice koje su ako uh, slatkaste. But the foods that are full of serotonin, that are sweet, I like. I evo da vidimo gde se nalazi serotonin. So let's look at the list of se- uh, food that contains serotonin. So number one, plums. I u pekmezu, i u svežem šljivi, i u suvoj šljivi. So in fresh plums, in plum jam, and in prunes. Gde još ima serotonina? In walnuts. Tomatoes, bananas, pineapple, kiwi fruit. 
Oni svi sadrže serotonin. All of these fruits contain serotonin. I svakog dana treba da jedemo nešto od te namirnice. And every day we should uh, strive to eat something uh, some of these fruits that contain serotonin. Moj favorit je šliva. My favorite is plum. Zato što tamo u našem prostoru je najkvalitetnija najkvalitetnija je šliva upravo sa naših prostora i ima je puno. So I prefer plum because we have very high quality plums in the area where I was born and where I'm from and we also have a lot of them. I oras, orasi. And walnuts as well. Uh, kada govorimo o serotoninu, so when we speak about serotonin, ja bih dao jednu uh, biokemijsku informaciju. But I'd, I'd also like to give some biochemical information. Serotonin je složeno jedinjenje. So serotonin is its own molecule. Uh, sastoji se od triptofana i vitamina B6. But it's made up of tryptophan and vitamin B6. I kad se oni spoje, and when they combine, mi dobijemo serotonin. We get serotonin. A triptofan i vitamin B6 se nalaze u celom zrnu žitarica. So tryptophan and vitamin B6 can be found in whole grains. Belo brašno Beli hleb i proizvodi od toga nemaju, ne sadrže triptofan i vitamin B6. White flour, white bread, refined food products do not contain tryptofan and vitamin B6. Znači, treba da mi imamo savjet duha proroštva da jedemo prirodnu, što manje prerađenu hranu. The spirit of prophecy tells us to eat natural and unrefined foods. Yeah. Važna, važna, uh, važan stimulator serotonina jeste i linoleinska kiselina. So an important stimulator of serotonin production is linoleic acid. And this is the most important omega-3 fatty acid. I sve one uh, omega-3 fatty acid koji se nalaze u morskim ribama potiču upravo od ove linoleinske kiseline. All of the omega-3 fatty acids that are found in fish are from linoleic acid. Da. A ona je biljnog porekla. But linoleic acid is a uh, plant-based. So it stimulates the synthesis of serotonin, increases the speed of the brain, improves concentration, perception, learning, memory, and reasoning. I još jedna informacija koja je u vezi, koja govori o ishrani i depresiji. So there's, here's more information about the uh, bond between uh, diet and depression. It says the connection between an increased waist circumference and an increased tendency to depression has been proven. Idemo dalje. Zašto treba da podignemo serotonin? Šta ćemo mi to dobiti kad podignemo serotonin? So why should we increase our serotonin levels? Why do we care? So we will feel, uh, we will have a feeling of satisfaction, calmness, emotional stability, self-discipline, rational flexibility, avoidance of risks and conflicts, willingness to compromise and reconciliation, consistency in attitudes and implementation of plans. Veoma važna substanca, odnosno moždani hormon. So this is a very important uh, byproduct of this, uh, this neuro, neuro, the, neuro, neurotransmitter or neuro, moždani hormon. This, this neurotransmitter, this, this hormone from the brain. Na njegovu koncentraciju utiče i stil razmišljanja ili način kako mi razmišljamo. So the way we think also affects the concentration of serotonin in our brain. I to koje misli se nalaze u našoj glavi utiče na njegovu koncentraciju. Which thoughts are in our mind affect the concentration of serotonin? Ali to je kažem posebna tema. But that is a separate subject. Ajde da vidimo šta podiže koncentraciju serotonina, a nije komplikovano jako. So what raises serotonin levels but isn't extremely complicated? So sunlight stimulates the synthesis of serotonin and melatonin in the brain. Svakog dana treba da budemo na suncu 30 do 45 minuta. Every single day we need to aim to be in the sun 30 to 45 minutes. Ali ako je napolju minus 15, minus 20 stepeni, baš ne znam kako će nam biti da sedimo 
na suncu i da sunčamo lice. So what do we do when it's minus 15, minus 20 degrees Celsius outside? How are we going to sit in the sun and get some sun on our face? Ali, evo ja sam ovaj, kod moje sestri, kod moje zeta, zeta u gostima. So I'm visiting my sister and brother-in-law. I ja slonim zavesu. And I open the shades on the windows. Lepo skinem majicu, sednem ovaj... Uh, Is, uh, sednem iza prozora i uh, svoje telo, lice izložim sunčevoj svetlosti i zato vreme čitam. So, what I do while visiting is I will take off my shirt and I will sit in front of a window and I will let the sun come in through the window and tan like this. I kupujem serotonin. So, I am collecting serotonin but at the same time I'm reading. Kupim i vitamin D. I'm also getting vitamin D. I za iste pare dobijem i melatonin. And also with the same activity for the same price I get melatonin. I sve one efekte koje melatonin i serotonin izazivaju. And with that all of the effects of melatonin and serotonin in the brain. I koliko me to košta? And what does that cost me? 30 do 45 minuta. 30 to 45 minutes of my day. Pustim neku finu muziku. I'll play some music. Ili uh, uzem nešto čitam. Or I'll take a book and I'll read. I dobijam ono što treba mome zdravlju. And I get all of these benefits to my health. I telesnom, i duševnom, i socijalnom zdravlju. And this is all physical, mental, and emotional benefits. Kako podići serotonin? So how else can we raise serotonin levels? So physical activity stimulates the synthesis of serotonin, endorphins and melatonin. Postoji još jedan veoma moćan antidepresivni lek. There is an extremely uh, strong antidepressive medication. Ja sad ne znam kako on to sve deluje. I don't know how it works. Ali deluje. But it works. I to je do, i to je dokazao I to su dokazale brojne studije. And it's been proven by numerous research. Jedan poznan, poznat psihijatar i pisac. A famous psychiatrist and writer. Daniel Goleman. Uh, Daniel Goleman. On je ta istraživanja skupio i stavio u svoju knjigu. He wrote a book that contains his research on the topic. I on kaže. And he says. Ako ste religiozni. Uh, praying if you're religious. Delotvorno je kod svih raspoloženja works for all moods posebno kod depresije i anksioznosti but especially in depression and anxious people koliko puta dnevno da uzmemo taj lek so how often should we take this medication najmanje dva puta <laughs> at a minimum twice ujutro in the morning uveče. and in the evening šta kaže biblija what does the bible say kad ustaješ when you wake kad ležeš when you lay down kad polaziš i kad dolaziš svoj svoj kući when you're leaving and when you're arriving home. Moli se Bogu i imaj ga na umu. Pray to God and have him on your mind. Da vidimo o kakvoj molitvi je reč. So what kind of prayer are we talking about here? Ili šta je to prava molitva? Or what is, what is prayer? What is true prayer? So prayer is uh, the soul's communion with God. It is the opening of the heart to God as to a friend. Prayer does not bring God down to us, but brings us up to him. And the moments of prayer are moments of sincerity and contemplation. To je napisao agnostik. Ovo nije napisao uh, religiozan čovek za taj efekat molitve. These, these effects of prayer were not written by a religious man. They were written by an agnostic. I bliži se kraj predavanju. Uh, now we're getting close to the end. I bliž, bliži se trenutak da vam uh, kažem ili da vas upoznam sa jednim lekom, sa jednom čudesnom tabletom koja je najefikasnija kod, kod depresije. So now we're getting close to the end and I want to share the most effective medicine, most effective pill the pre- best prescription that I can share. E sad, ne znam da li se u Kanadi to može nabaviti, to ćete mi vi reći da li je to moguće. So I don't know if you can buy this here in Canada, you have to tell me. Ja sam optimista. But I'm optimistic. Ja znam da 
u mojej zemlji i u mom gradu tog leka ima. Ili taj lek se može nabaviti. I know that in my country, in my city, that this, this medicine exists. You can o kom leku je reč? So which medicine are we talking about here? I kako da ga koristimo? And how do we use it? Ja bih vam savjetao da uzmete jednu uh, čudesnu farmakopeju. <laughs> Knjigu o, o lekovima. So I, I would recommend you take a a book of medicines. Pogotovo knjigu koja uh, ima lek za ono spiritualno srce. Especially a book that uh, deals with medication of the spiritual heart. I da vidimo o kom leku je to reč. And let's see what what this medication is. Kako se koristi? How do we use it? I koji su njegovi efekti? And what are the effects of it? Idemo redu. Okay. So it is not to deal thy bread to the hungry and that thou bring the poor that are cast out of thy house when thou seest the naked and thou that thou cover him and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning and thine hell shall spring forth speedily. And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters fail not. Fokusiranost na sebe i na svoje lične probleme postiče depresiju. So focusing on ourselves and our personal problems leads to depression. Ako mi se počnemo brinuti o problemima drugih ljudi, if we start thinking about the problems of others, ako otvorimo našu dušu i saslušamo njihov problem, if we open our heart and soul to them and listen to their problems, naš intimni problem i naša patnja gura se na periferiju svesti. So our own intimate problems are pushed to the periphery of our mind and our consciousness. Da. I šta se dešava? Ta patnja biva manja. Then our own problems start becoming smaller. Uh, so, jedan tekst samo da vidim. Okay. Ako se čovjek posveti pomaganju drugih ljudi, if a person uh, ili ako čovjek pomaže drugim ljudima if a person helps another individual ako obilazi bolesnike if they go and visit the sick ako sluša uh, problemi patnju druge osobe if they listen to the problems of others ako pruži bilo kakvu uslugu čovjeku koji je u nevolji if they offer a helping hand to anybody who is in trouble tada će depresija da polako pada, a da osjećaj neke tihe uh, uh, vedrine da polako uh, ispunjava našu dušu. I stručnjaci koji se bave depresijom and experts who deal with depression, uh, zaključili su they have, uh, come to the conclusion Dobročinstvo je najbolji preventivni i terapijs, najbolje preventivno i terapijsko sredstvo za depresiju. The best prevention and therapy for depression is helping others. Nažalost, to je najređi lek koji se najređi lek koji se primjenjuje. Sadly, this is also the rarest medication that is uh, prescribed for this. It's a neglected remedy. It says empathy heals better than any other remedy or technology. Empathy is a warm and simple human connection between the one who suffers and the other who offers help. Znači ne samo da saosećanje i dobročinstvo pomaže i nama, ali deluje moćno i na i na ove uh, uh, na naše bližnje. Dvostruki efekat ima ima uh, saosećanje i dobročinstvo. So embrace readiness for listening, a look full of understanding, 
All of these have significance, but are too easily lost due to noisy and frequently trivial activities. Nažalost, sve manje toga. Sadly, we don't often do this. Ovaj lek se sve manje koristi u, sa, danas u savremenom svetu. We, this uh, medication, this medicine is the least used in today's world. I zato imamo sve više depresije. That's why we're more depressed. A sve manje uh, uh, sretnih ljudi, ljudi sa osmehom i sa vedrinom. And that's why there's less people with a smile on their face, less happy people. Da vidimo šta kaže Hristos o upravo o ovom leku i ovoj osobini. So what does God say and Jesus specifically say about this? Ovo je citat iz Želje vekove. So from the Desire of Ages Jesus says uh, Jesus shows that true religion consists not in systems, creeds or rites, but in the performance of loving deeds in bringing the greatest good to others in genuine goodness. To treba da zapamtimo. We need to remember this. I poruka za kraj. And the message for closing here. Kad sve ovo znamo, when we know all this. Sada činimo. What do we do? Ljubi bližnjega svojega. Love your neighbor. Nek nam Bog u tome pomogne. May God help us with this. Amen. Amen.